Wow, I can't believe that summer's over and we've got to get back to campus. Oh, I know, it just flew by. It's so busy. Here we go. We have the best glazed donuts here. I'm gonna miss these babies back on campus. <laughs> so on your health cake, Matt? He's been addicted to donuts since our FTC build season days. They bring back such good memories. Mm. And they're so yummy. I'm still a bagel kind of guy. It's Fruit Loops for me. Guys, my shift's about to end. I need to ring you up. Will it be together or separate? You know what, guys? I got this. It is my end of summer back to college treat. Sweet. I forgot my wallet again. <laughs> <laughs> Since when do you have cash to spare? Well, I just got this awesome paying internship at Rockwell Collins, the ones who sponsored our FTC team. And they were so great to work with. And now I get to use my programming skills to write Excel and Access applications that automate processes to make it easier for their engineers. So the engineers can now focus on doing cool stuff like this. Nice gig, Liz. So what do you guys think about mentoring an FTC team for the upcoming season? I heard the game's gonna be kinda good and I think it'd be cool to mentor a team. If I could give back half of what Mr. Tamworth gave us, I'd be so happy. He was such an inspiration. Uh, Joe Tamworth, what a guy. Without his help, I don't think I would have been accepted to the engineering program. So you owe it to him to give back and inspire others. All I know is that when we were all on a team together a few years ago, it was a lot of work, and I don't know if I can make it happen with my course schedule this year. Will there be donuts? <laughs> I don't know about donuts, but I heard you can get course credit for mentoring a team. Either way, I'm in. We came so close to winning the championship last year. Unfinished business. <laughs> hey, I'm serious. <laughs> Besides, my brother's on an FRC team, and we've got a bit of a wager going to see who places higher. Well, the family that competes together <laughs> I'm in two. I've been on a first team since FLL. That was a while ago. The Prague of Prague's. What? The Prague of Prague. The progression of programs. Junior FLL, FLL, FTC, FRC. Joe has done them all. I miss my Lego bricks. And since I got the scholarship through FTC, my resume looks great and it opened the door to me working at BE Myers this summer. They make laser optics, and I got to help identify the next gen of lasers. And I got to help assemble manufacturing tooling that helped them automate their production. Check it out. That is so super awesome. <laughs> and hands on, I love it. Mm -hmm. See, how could we not be mentors? So Matt, what do you think? You ready to toss your donut in the ring? Remember, it's better to give than to receive. <laughs> <laughs>
immediately followed by a two-minute driver controlled period. During the autonomous period, robots can only be controlled by pre-programmed instructions. If a robot hangs an autonomous ring on a peg, their alliance owns that peg for the entire match. If a robot hangs an autonomous ring on a column with an IR beacon, their alliance is also awarded a 50-point peg score bonus. After the autonomous period, the drivers pick up their controllers for the driver controlled period. Each ring placed on the center floor goal is worth one point. Rings hung on the rack pegs are worth five, 10, or 15 points depending on the height. If your alliance has more rings on a peg than your opponent, you own that peg unless they have hung an autonomous ring on it. Three consecutive owned pegs earns a line score bonus of 30 points. Each weighted ring hung on a corner goal earns a 20% multiplier bonus. The last 30 seconds of the driver controlled period is the end game. During this time, if a robot can lift an alliance partner robot at least one inch off the floor, they are awarded a 30 point lifting bonus and the Alliance earns five more bonus points for each additional inch the robot is lifted. The match is over, so let's add up the scores. We see the blue Alliance has three rings on the bottom pegs for 15 points, three on the middle pegs for 30 points, and two on the top for 30 points. That's 75 points total. And they have three lines of three pegs, so they earn a line bonus of 90 points. Even though one peg has more red rings, the Blue Alliance owns it because of their autonomous ring. The total score for the Blue Alliance is 165 points. The Red Alliance has three rings on the center floor goal for three points. They have two rings on the bottom row for 10 points, two rings on the middle row for 20 points, and one ring on the top row for an additional 15 points. That's a ring score of 48 points. Hanging an autonomous ring on a column with an infrared locating beacon earned them a bonus of 50 points. They were also able to hang a weighted ring on a corner goal, so they get a 20% bonus on their ring score for an additional 10 points. And because they were able to lift their partner robot up six inches, they earned a 55 point lifting bonus. With a total score of 163 points for the Red Alliance, the Blue Alliance takes the match, winning 165 to 163. Please download and read the game manual for the complete rules, scoring details, and penalties. Good luck, teams!